Hey, Lee Junkies, it's me, Zenzale. I hope you didn't think that I was gonna let this month go by without doing one quick synthetic wig review. I did post this on my community tab a few weeks ago. This is Outre's Melted Hairline Darcy. This was a total impulse buy since I do not do synthetic wig reviews anymore, but I just had to have this one. I saw it on one of Letitia Charisma's wig release videos, which I still watch, I still watch wig release videos um, because I still love wigs, I still love them, right? So again, I saw this one and I was just like, this beautiful, wearable, edgy, trendy style from Outre's Melted Hairline, I had to try it. And I think that it is also pretty affordable at around like 28, 30-ish dollars. I don't remember where I purchased from, but again, I will put the uh, information in the description box down below. Um, again, this is the Utre Melted Hairline Darcy. This is the color DR42T Pumpkin Spice, the exact same color as the model on the stock card. Okay, are we not, are we not twins? I think it looks exactly like it is represented. Uh, so let me just tell you some details about the Outre Melted Hairline series. If you are not familiar with it, this is a soft HD transparent lace with five inch deep parting space, completely pre-plucked hairline and sideburns, pre-attached wide elastic band for a secure fit, fast, easy and effortless glueless installs, natural baby hairs, and redesigned comfort fit ear contour. So the construction of the cap is the same construction as usual. It has the combs in the front at the uh, top of the hairline here. It has an elastic band, as it mentions, for a secure fit. It has the adjustable straps in the back with the comb at the nape of the neck. This is also heat safe up to 400 degrees and is described as a glueless install unit, which they are not lying at all. Once I cut the lace off of this unit, I just feel like it melted perfectly. And also I feel like this is one of the best pre-plucked hairlines that I have seen in the Outre melted hairline units that I have. And I only have a few, but I have a good number of them. And I and they're all look the really, really long ones. This is my first short one from Outre melted hairline series. Maybe there have been some before, but this is the first that I have seen. So like, this, this is the hairline. And I think that this is just amazing. Like I think they did such a good job with it. It's not thick, it's not hard, it's not boxy. It's just very realistic looking and it completely covers my hairline. You can see where it comes down on each side. And I feel like even though you can see the lace lifting, I would wear it just like this. I don't think that you would have a problem with the lace lifting unless you do want to wear the hair behind your ear, which is a claim that it makes, which is not, it does not work as you can see. Putting it behind your ear totally lifts up the lace, total giveaway, but like I don't generally wear um, uh, my hair behind my ear when I wear synthetic units anyway, I would wear it just like this. And um, I think you'd be fine that way. I think that if you wanted to, you could cut a little bit. I have dark here, so it kind of just blends in seamlessly right there for me. So if you have dark hair like I do, it should not be a problem. Uh, the texture for this unit is uh, mostly silky, kind of a dry kind of texture, which I think was really good for this style, the way that it is cut just in these um, choppy, uh, blunt cut layers. I think it is just really perfect for this style. Um, the, the actual length of this is 14 inches from here down to my shoulder. I just think this is just so wearable. I think that you could dress this up and down. I think that you could wear this to take out the garbage. I think you could wear it to go out for brunch. I think you could wear it for holiday events. I think it's also really wonderful for the fall season with this color. Like, I, I got no complaints about this style. This is the first pumpkin spice. I've never purchased this color before, so I wasn't really sure what to expect. 
and though it is very bold and fiery I don't think it's like over the top I think it's really nicely done with the dark root and the fade into this pumpkin spice I mean I, I really like it I do have some cons for this unit but they're not really huge cons I think the biggest con and I will mention that first is that this is not a big head friendly unit my head measures 22 inches in circumference it is snug on me I have my wig band underneath this at the loosest in the back and it fits snug like it's comfortable it's not crushing my brain but when I first put this on oh my goodness <laughs> it is tight um you small head people out there if you're interested in this unit you're in the clear but 22 inches maybe a little bit more might be the limit that i would recommend for anybody uh to purchase this unit um because it's 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 not big head friendly this thing is on it's on and there's no space and i attribute that mostly to the elastic band which is needed to keep this laid down really nice and secure in the front. Another con that I have about it is even though the lace is really transparent, and I think it's beautifully transparent, it's HD like they say, but if you get really, really close in here, you can see the knots. But that's basically every synthetic unit. That just comes with synthetic unit behavior basically it's not the worst but it's just there and something to be aware of i did put powder in the parting space which helps to mask it a little bit but not completely um the other con as you can probably see is that this part is not completely straight but it's it's not huge in fact i feel like because it's not completely straight it looks a little bit more realistic because you know in real life, you don't always make the perfect straight middle part. And sometimes in a synthetic unit, if it's too straight and it's too perfect, it can sometimes be a giveaway that it is a wig. Um, I'm trying to think if I have any other cons about this. I did add some heat in the back because it was a little humpy when I first got it, but just a little bit of heat. Other than that, I feel like this was a very easy install. I knew as soon as I cut the lace off of it and put it on, I was just like, holy cow, like that's it. Like I don't got to do anything else. I did put some foundation inside the cap as well because I don't have um, my tint spray anymore because I don't, I don't do wig reviews much anymore. I don't do wig reviews at all anymore, even though I'm doing this one. <laughs> So I don't have like all the, the spray used to be like my go-to, even if it wasn't necessary. But for this, it's not necessary either. Like I just put some foundation in the cap, like I said, some powder in the part, and that was all that was needed. Like this is a very transparent lace. So yeah, all in all, I am not mad at this unit. I think it is fast and easy as an install. I think it's very good for... Uh, beginners who are just starting to wear synthetic units and I would definitely recommend it for someone who's just looking for something that is light and easy and fast and breezy and you can just throw this on and go and you can wear it gluelessly which is the way that I wear all my wigs. The density for this unit also very light. I also think that that was a great choice for this because it's just not the kind of unit that needs a whole lot of bundles or thickness in it. Like I just feel like they did things right for this style for Darcy. So I'm gonna do my 360 so you can see what this looks like from the sides and the back and come back with any final thoughts that I have about this unit. it for my review of Outre's Melted Hairline Darcy. Again, this is the color DR4 slash 2T Pumpkin Spice. Um, I didn't mention anything about shedding because I, I didn't get any shedding for this unit. Um, it's a very easy unit to run your fingers through because of the chopped layered nature of it. Of course, as a synthetic unit, the longer you wear it, if you wear it a lot, 
it will probably get a little like you know tangly on the ends but i don't think it's going to be a huge problem i don't think this is the kind of unit that you need to carry a comb or a brush around with like you could literally just fluff it up and do this with your fingers and it's not a problem um if i got anything i would say i got a little bit of that wispy fly away kind of hair but i just took some mousse and like laid it down at the top and i haven't had any issues with that at all yeah so i am very happy with this unit i think it's very cute i think it's a very wearable length i think it's a very trendy style which i'm very happy to see in utri's melted hairline series because like i've said before in many of my past synthetic hair reviews like I, I like the long, I like the barrel curls, I like the long straight, I still do. But we need more options of both. And I'm really happy to see that Outre is pulling in these really cute, shorter, wearable, just easy breezy styles as well. So I am happy with this. I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you in my next one soon. Bye.